the Sign of the Times episode 374 from the Undisclosed Chain Link Fence. Undisclosed Chain Link Fence. This episode brought by the all new Brian Pillman Jr. shirt. Look at that. Brian Pillman Jr. shirt. Very reminiscent of the one his father had. Good job, Pro Wrestling Tees. To the people who love the snaps. Look, I'm going to give QT later today. Life in a Medieval City by Joseph and Francis Guise. QT's going to love it. He's going to read it right after the NXT book. It's taken him a remarkably long time to finish. We discussed this on Sign Guys Wrestling Show. It's taken him a long time to finish that NXT book, but then he's going to jump right into Life in a Medieval City. We'll follow up with that. Romanian Festival pamphlet. Because every show needs a pamphlet, I got two. Look at that. Oh, it's broken. Broken. That one may have to get retired to the chagrin of QT. He'll be very chagrined. In GW Show Flyer. The Twitter where you can follow me, but not literally. Way under 700 now. I keep dropping. Dropping. But Kelly Klein tweeted out a picture of herself wearing one of my t-shirts. What a great day to have a Twitter. She threw out the Reds first pitch and then wore my shirt. What more could you ask for for a woman? Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube, which you may be watching right about now. Right about now, you may be watching it. Dave Turner might be watching it right now. CAC program. CAC rapidly approaching. Christian Andes is going to be there. Stuart Kemp's going to be there. I believe Cody Hawk will be there. Autograph picture of Seymour Schnupp, proud member of the Gallagher roster. They have a show coming up in June. Members of Team Bad Knees. One of the other members of Team Bad Knees. I've got pictures of Casey Carlisle. Available at CaseyCarlisle.com. That's CaseyCarlisle.com for all your gift giving needs, including Easter. You can give those to people for Easter. They'd love it. Some of those. Let's say you celebrate Dash Ventures' birthday, which is today. You can get those. He might appreciate it. Those available. You can get those. Some of those. Those available. Those if you prefer. And some of those. As I mentioned, it's Dash Venture's birthday. It really is. No one's seen Dash Venture in a long time, but he's still out there somewhere tweeting pictures of pussycats. He's like the modern day Pacific Northwest Retired Natalia, or something to that effect. But later today, I'll be at CPW Combat Pro Wrestling. B Boy will be there. He sure will. Maybe he knows where Dash Venture is. Maybe he went to his birthday party. Maybe there was cake involved. Maybe a clown. Maybe Jake Jekyll was there. I don't know. I don't know. Sunday on Turnbuckle, we have Salim Abbas. From Russell Club in Idaho. No booking shenanigans I know of. I think he will be on board this time. And it's Easter. Maybe the Easter Bunny will show up. I don't know. It's possible. Monday. Yeah, it's pretty much fucking free. Probably QT will be reading from his book. Learning about medieval city life. Tuesday. Not much going on. Wednesday. Not a lot. Thursday. Pretty slow. Next Friday. The Phoenix Kid comes back to the show. Phoenix Kid, not from Phoenix, was from Alaska, came down to Washington, and is now in Texas, or something to that effect. He's a tricky man. So to review, from the Sunday School's team, fence. CPW will be tonight, possibly people discussing Dash Venture's birthday party with Jake Tuckle. What a sad existence that is, if that's the case. Sunday on Turnbuckle, Salima Boss, and then it's Easter, who knows what will happen. Besides, you know, the Celtics playoff game, they could sweep the Pacers. Rex Sharp will be somewhere crying his eyes out, but it's a very strong possibility. Monday, eh, looking free, except for QT, he's got reading to do. QT will have reading. Tuesday, not much. Wednesday, pretty open. Thursday, looking free. Friday, the Phoenix Kid. I might ask him why he's never wrestled for Phoenix Pro Wrestling. I believe that's a promotion. I don't think he's ever been there. What's that about, I'll ask him. 
Perhaps he'll tell me the answer. Maybe QT will ask him eight questions about the Phoenix Suns, including three and a half questions about former NBA great Jason Kidd. So pretty much with that, episode 374 